Hi YouTube, uh, this is Sacramento River and it's a little spot off from the uh, Miller Park boat dock. I thought you guys might enjoy the view. It's kind of dirty actually, but um, it's as close to nature as you can get. You go to a park that's crowded or you go around a river that's crowded. <laughs> Welcome to the city. But for the moment I got a tiny bit of privacy. And uh, I didn't plan to make a video. I just bring this camera with me everywhere these days. I've become obsessive compulsive about it. But um, I had a comment uh, yeah, yesterday. It's uh, a comment responding to one of my comments on someone else's video uh, about, you know, spanking and child abuse and. I know this has been pretty well ruminated by everybody, but uh, I I used to get whoopings uh, pretty bad, and uh, and my father was uh, kind of he was verbally abusive, um, psychologically abusive, and I was talking about how he he had bought a uh, a switch at a cattle auction, and it had, was a a a metal bar encased in leather with flaps at the end and I mean you get hit by that and it bruised your bone I mean it went straight through the fat uh, and hit you on the ass bone I mean it uh, but it hit my tailbone just right it probably paralyzed me one day my dad and, mo and mom went out to dinner and uh, it disappeared um, I think I might have had something to do with that. Uh, he never asked. He didn't replace it. He just went back to the thin black leather belt, which hurt like hell, but at least it didn't bruise your bone. And the comment I'd gotten on this, uh, I don't remember who it is uh, offhand, because uh, I didn't bring any notes or anything. Uh, he said, you know, I, I would hate my father forever for that, and, you know, that how nice I could forgive my father. But I think in a ways my father had to forgive me a little too for being not the son he really wanted. I mean, he didn't want some daydreamer. He wanted um, someone who was going to be, you know, quarterback or a great something. And he could say, that's my son, you know. You know, his DNA made him, you know, my DNA is why he's so wonderful. Well... I'm not wonderful. Uh, never have been. Um, I think I'm pretty good, but wonderful? No. no. I'm I'm not exceptional in any way that I know of. Uh, I'm exceptional at being myself, and I've gotten better at that as the years went by. But uh, you know, this this uh, person, and I, I understand his pain, uh, saying that he'd probably hate his father forever, and his father had died, and it's a good thing because he might have wanted to kill him uh, and I used to wish for my father's death as a kid I would sit looking out the window just watching for his car coming in praying for him to get into a car accident and die so my mom could marry somebody else and get a new father and of course that was ignoring all the good times we had because it wasn't all bad and um, the thing is my father is like in his mid 70s he's had cancer surgery uh, he's on his third wife and I think she's wonderful uh, and life has kicked his ass it's kicked my ass too it kicks everybody's ass that's that's the price of playing the game of life I guess uh, we talked we bared our hearts to each other uh, and this has been a, uh, a decade or more, but you know we we were truthful with each other. To people who dropped all acts and have uh, learned to be comfortable with just being who you are, both of us. So you know we shared with each other, and I I told him you know that that I asked him for forgiveness. And he said, I don't have to 
for, you know, I don't need forgiveness for anything. I'm, I'm a great person. And he's proud of me. You know, this is what he's, you know, said in the last decade. And I, I told him I wanted to, you know, apologize for the fact that I used to hate him, and I don't hate him anymore. I, uh, and I'm ashamed that I ever did. That I, I didn't tell him I used to wish for his death, though. That would have been too much. But uh, he told me that he hated himself, and that his father had beat him and was verbally abusive, and he knew he was acting out the role of his own father. And I've seen that happen to me a few times, you know, with my nephews, you know, where I get exasperated and I, and the w worst possible things I could say, almost make it to the tongue, and I stop myself because I'm not interested in damaging anybody. You know, but I, do, I just told him, I said, you know, to my father, you know, all I ever wanted was to be your friend. And uh, we never had to talk about it again. We have, of course, revisited the past many times, but I mean, we don't have to anymore. And, um, you know, speaking as an atheist, there's nothing wrong with forgiveness. It's still, it feels good to let go of things that you carry around negative emotions, uh, resentments, uh, hurts. I carry a lot of it still because some of it I just can't seem to get rid of, but I lose a little bit every year of this past pain and uh, I'm coming dangerously close to turning into a happy person. And uh, I don't know, I just wanted to explain it. Uh, I guess when I get home, if this video isn't too crappy, uh, I'll look up that comment again and, you know, and reference it, maybe even send this to the guy, because it was hard letting go of hate. I've talked to my sister about this, and we're both deeply ashamed of the fact that we hated our parents. And there were times, yes, I hated my mother too at times, and my mother is wonderful, you know? She's just not perfect, you know? And I just don't have room in my life for old baggage, old dead feelings, uh, None of us are the people we used to be. Um, you know, I mean, you want to interpret uh, that in a, a religious light, go ahead, but I think it's just, uh, it's necessary to keep, if you're going to go on living and accepting your own self. Um, you have to forgive yourself for... My motto here on YouTube is to be artfully artless. I'm not even trying. I mean, because I got a little OCD. I, I, I do. I'll fuss to make sure I got my penmanship right and all. And I've been teaching myself to throw it down. <laughs> you can always fix something later, usually. Uh, but I'm rambling. Sorry. I was talking about my father, and it's kind of. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable.